All right. Hey, Collective. How y'all doing out there today? And I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. Let me say thank you, thank you, thank you. For all your likes, shares, and your comments. So let's tap in and see what's going on. I think I'm going to try to take it like today. <laughs> And of course, I'm not going to use any reversals with this deck here. Now you got the high priestess in the crossroads showing right up, right away. So I'm going to take it. All right, give us one more. One more spirit. Now you got the dreamer and the awakening coming out here. Which is pretty much the same thing. Look at this. This is crazy, right? It's like he woke up to a dream. Now I think that's what this crossroad is about. So actually, because it looks so cute together... <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and take both of them, y'all. Okay. Now, you could be seeing two, two, two. I'm just looking at this two here. There's something going on. As I always say. Let me move this down a little bit. I'm trying to get it to make it look neat. And I like that that's the same exact person right there. Now, I think that this crossroad is indicating that this little image right here in the mirror is some type of angel. And they're guiding you. They're loyal to you with this dog right here, guiding your little footsteps. I want you to see what I see. You know what I'm Look at the dog in the foot paying attention. He's right at his footstep. Now, let's see what you tapped into. Now, I was going to um, use these cards, but I don't know anymore because of what came out. Let me see. All right, we're going to start with the High Priestess. And that's Rebellion. Now, you done learned something that you're rebelling against, that awakening. Now, I would assume that that's the status quo. Well, it doesn't have to be, though. Let's see. And you got sexuality. And that keep coming out. Now, I like to look at that as the root. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in regards to relationships. You know, creativity. They both go hand in hand. And you have self-esteem. It's definitely something that you're putting your heart into. Something that you're putting your heart into. I think your emotions are wrapped up in 
whatever this is, this crossroad, this rebellion. Now let me see. So I just want to say a little bit. Hmm. Now this is telling you to toss your rule book. Or at least hide it for now. You've been living with the safety on for too long. Now this card suggests that you bend the rules a bit and take more risks. And it says we get consumed by the what ifs. When we're about to do something that may seem drastic in the eyes of the people around us. Again, I thought you, you might be going up against the status quo. Now this is telling you to take your own lead because something is going to pay off. And again, this sexuality, now it could be about a relationship at a crossroads. Some people might uh, think that a particular person may not be the one for you. However, it don't necessarily have to be that. This is just telling you to put a little bit more pep in your step. You know? Put a little bit more pep off. Spice it up. Now your self-esteem, that has some type of an awakening. I think you're going with uh, your intuition in regards to whatever this is going on. Spirit is guiding you along the way. So I'm liking it. Okay. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong. Now let's see if we can get some cues from these cards. And then we'll move on to the tarot. Alright, tell us a little bit about this row over here with the self-esteem. I think I'm going to pull maybe four from here. <laughs> you can't make it up, boo. Now this is emotions. <laughs> Right there on self-esteem. The moon. And awakening. Now, I do look like it's going to be a shift in that. We had number 23 here, which is a five. Clarifying, clarifying. And the dreamer does take that leap of faith. With wonder. And I told you, spirit is guiding you. 44. Now, we're going to look up and... Oh, I ain't got my, um, my laptop ain't, I mean, my, uh, tablet ain't charged up, so I can't look it up with the fly fly mean. However, I think something is really gonna come to the light. Now I'm looking at how this tree is. This is a lightning bug. Dang, I remember we used to take those, uh, Lights off and make rings and things out of them. Sounds a little uh, icky as an adult, but that's what we used to do. <laughs> now, lightning bulbs used to be very uh, obvious when I was a child. Now, I don't ever see lightning bulbs. And that's just giving me the feeling that you're going to make a comeback. <laughs> yeah. Something like that going on here.
here and you got the globe here with possibilities now the globe card does indicate um something coming full circle you might have to travel go viral it can mean so many things the globe also indicates abundance the world card Might be seen worldwide. Could have something to do with uh, communication. Uh, yeah. Reaching dem different demographics. Mm, look like it might be your destiny. See if I, I might be able to get two more down here. I don't want to go out my little comfort space. <laughs> yeah. Right here, I think that um, whatever this is that you're going to do, you're going to love it. Now, this could have something to do with a relationship. happen on your birthday now Valentine's Day has passed already so I don't know This is having to do with a relationship. This heart and this fun together. This is some type of new beginning because this is eight and two. I think one is going to become two. <laughs> and self-esteem. Somebody gonna get their little groove back and relationships is at the bottom of the deck. It's got something to do with a relationship for a lot of you guys. Some type of collaboration. Now you might not see this coming because the moon card is here and it holds secrets. What's going on with the moon? But the, the will and the king? Wow. Now it do look like the wheels is turning in your favor. And whatever this is, this divine God is, is going to be very prosperous. Now I do look like it's going to be some change from this. Now I think, look, because it made me pull back on that. Because this is 11. And this competition right here. Something you learning. Because the sun card is on this side. Something you fighting. With this rebellion. Now rebellion could be. Um, not so obvious to yourself. You know it could be a latent. Mm, emotion that you don't want to display. You know? Maybe fighting your feelings. Something about your self-esteem is going to shift this. 
Now this is the last card, so I want to see. Uh -uh. Let me see. Now the moon does also ha have your um hidden deepest desires. Just read it. Toss the rule book aside. Y'all. <laughs> I had thought I read self-esteem. My bad. And you see she got this book in her hand, right? Now you got three cups here. Some type of collaboration. With the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, that might got something to do with the number eight. It could be a life path number eight. I don't know why I feel like it got something to do with eight. Yeah, some type of new door with this 8 and 4 is 12. Yeah, I told you, you might be seen for this. And dig on the moon. The star is always illuminated. Now, we are approaching every season. And everybody's going to be in emperor mode. <laughs> everybody's in Aries. Everybody's an emperor, I mean. <laughs> Maybe eight days, eight weeks. I don't know. Something going on with eight. On the eighth day, was this March, April? I don't know. Maybe for some. I just heard somebody yelling outside, trying to get somebody's attention. And I just seen the eight of wands. Now you could be saying eight, 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 and it keeps showing up. Now the king of cups fell out. They did come out in reverse. Now, this, I think this is that self-esteem card. And I told you, it's some friends. Or something. Yeah, you got to make a choice to move forward. And they go eight again. There's something going on with eight. Two of wands and six. Somebody might be trying to talk you out of something. Now the king of cups is here, but he in reverse. Next to the five of cups. On this heart. And it is lining up with this crossroad. Telling you to put a little pep in your step. Hmm. 
Okay. Let me see. Now the King of Cups in reverse is uh, really emotional. Now this could also even indicate that you uh losing a little bit of control. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, in the upright, this is somebody that has control over their emotions. So maybe that's indicating that. Being a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, because I think it's going to be some new type of beginning in this regard because this Five of Cups and this Hierophant is 5-5, five, five, which is a 10. On fun. Telling you to lighten up. Now you got 10-10 ten, ten here. In regards to love and fun. With the Four of Cups. All these cups down here. You got here go four, three, four, five. Yeah, telling you to th you trying to think logically about this thing right here. And I think you need to put more heart in it. Whatever this is. Tap into your inner child, your emotions. Now, it do look like you uh did a lot of work on yourself because you have the Will here with the King of Pentacles. Dedication right next to the Hierophant. We're fun. This is somebody that finishes what they start. Now maybe you strategize in something. Telling you to put the rule book down and do something different. However, I think with this wonder, this firefly, and this little light, something is going to come to the light. In regards to whatever you're trying to strategize. Whatever you're thinking about. And again, I think it's some type of uh, relationship. For a lot of you. Some type of connection. Collaboration. Move. Now this Three of Cups could just um, be community. A new move. A new social group. Something like that. Now you got the three of swords. The nine. 
And then Nine of Cups is hiding under that with the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is on the King. Now you got Seven Seven here. And it's nine and it's three. It's some type of door. And I think this door is in regards to thought. That portal. Those swords. Perspective. Right here. Let me see. It do look like somebody's thinking about something rather hard. Because I'm talking about that five of swords keeps showing up. <laughs> I'm talking about he won't go away. Every time I shift with the devil, he come right back. And you might got somebody in your ear that need to get out. And you got... See, as I say that, and it's right on this three of cups with justice. Right here. Somebody trying to talk you out of something? Somebody. And that could just be them. And you might see through it. Might be somebody karmic. Trying to stay attached. And that could be them too. And their emotions. Because it's right next to the three of cups. Mm-hmm. Trying to tell you to do something. That doesn't coincide with your awakening. Your newfound freedom. You stepping out of the matrix, out of the box. Something on, something going on like that. Yeah. Look, I told you, this is you. And that's them. Got to be. Trying to, look, there you go. Look, 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 look. And that's on that death and that rebirth. That's you. Right here. Right here. In regards to your heart and what you're going after. Oh, it done came together for me. <laughs> yes. Now it could be you. But I think you're walking away from it to love. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Now, it, again, for some of you guys, it's just you in your mind. But for a lot of you guys, it's somebody in your energy trying to talk you out of something. And somebody might be karmic. With karmic tendencies, I want to say. A pawn. That hasn't waking up yet. Hasn't woken up yet. Maybe. Somebody that still believe in the matrix. And the BS. But you woke. I think this has a lot to do with self love. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Going back to your dreams, boo. And doing it. Look, I'm talking about they will not go away. Telling you to close that select cycle out. Whoever this is. If it's you or if it's them. Now you got the Ten of Pentacles on the Hierophant. 
Yeah, you're walking away. It's still right there. Telling you to call judgment on that situation. Whatever it is. Because whatever you thinking about doing, it's going to make you a lot of money. Or make you happy. Whether this be a move, some type of travel, a job, a belief, keep following your vision. I do see some type of karmic completion here. Now, this is the last card. Yeah. With the world card. You being dedicated, staying dedicated to your process. Right here next to the higher front. Elevation. Yeah. Going up against the status quo. To live life more abundantly. This is good. Now let me see. What card can we pull from? The uh clarify. Let's get three of these cards for advice. It's telling you to reveal what needs to be revealed. And that's right there on those um, emotions in the moon. Telling you to lighten up in regards to these possibilities. This death and this rebirth. Now, I do look like you're coming up out of that. You're open. You're becoming balanced with your emotions. I think you held your heart chakra. That self-esteem issue. Because <laughs> that right there is all about your emotions. And right here, just so you can see what I'm seeing, this is in reverse with a death and a rebirth. And it's five. It's with this. In the upright. On this little heart. And I think it's a done data. Or whatever don't serve you. Yeah, you calling justice on it. Whatever this three of cups is. You're bringing that situation into bound balance. Boundaries, I want to say. Yeah. And the king of pentacles with the seven of pentacles. Now you got 77 here. Now you could be saying seven seven. Now this is your last card. And it's telling you to talk less and feel more. <laughs> right here. <laughs> On your heart. In the high effect and fun. Yeah. Get up out your head. Now, I got to say that no swords came down here on the deck at all. So, it do look like what this one. And that's on that wheel. So, this is good. I think you're going to start to have more fun with Wanda. Yeah. I'm trying to say, 1010 is down here. You can look up that angel number. You got the death and the rebirth, which is that completion of some cycles. Alright. Now let's see. We're just going to pull three of these angel cards so I can close it out. And this is good, but look like you done woke up to something. More feeling. 
more fun more getting out into nature stepping out of your comfort zone throwing the rule book down doing something different so you can get different results and you have keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer expect miraculous solutions to appear right here on that moon card yeah and you know reveal what needs to be revealed or what needs to be seen is also talking about boundaries now, it's a good time to give birth to new ideal situations in life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. And I told you that. Spirit is with you. With that wander, that light guiding you, your footsteps. Right there, with that awakening. And you have time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop take care of yourself again. Indicating boundaries with heart and fun. Talk less, feel more. Can't make it up. Now, darling, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Follow the channel. And I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Good job.